just another manic Monday. I like that song. That's why I'm not going to sing it to you because I sing like shit. Long story short, we plowed last night 2 million square feet. Okay, we got 2 million square feet to clear tonight. So we've got two crews that do that. We have six hours. We got a detail crew and we got a bulk crew. The skid loaders and the trucks do the detail work. We've got three trucks, five skid loaders, and then we got the bulk crew. And what that is, is that's payloaders with these 12 and 14 foot pusher blades on. So you can see them lined up here, lit up like Christmas. Point is, I was up all night long to about six o'clock this morning, took a nappy, got back up, delivered my wife to Florida. <laughs> Her and the kids are gone for 10 days. Yeah, I know, I know, it's crazy. It's not like I'm gonna go party, but if you guys know my kids, all they do is fight. Oh my God, they take after their mother. Anyway, um, I still have to work today. So although I've had two, three hours worth of sleep, you still gotta get up, you still gotta do what you gotta do to run your business. Sometimes you gotta run the night crew, sometimes you run the day crew, it doesn't matter. That's not why I'm talking to you right now. Right now is, I'm gonna, I gotta go practice my speaking skills. So, being able to get up and talk to people, getting up and being able to relate with people isn't something that comes naturally to everybody and it doesn't come naturally to me. But there's a group called Toastmasters. Years ago, I was told <laughs> that I should join Toastmasters. It wasn't like a, a subtle hint. It was like, you should go join Toastmasters. And I did. And it was phenomenal. It's like 40 bucks a year, I think 47. I don't know what it is worth every single penny of all the meetings that I've been to this one has been the absolute best hands down uh, and I say that not because it's networking not because I'm, I'm selling jobs but what I'm doing is I'm refining my ability to interact with my customers and that's what you have to do you have to learn how to polish your presentation skills and where are you gonna do that you're either gonna do that with customers that have dollar bills in their hand and they're gonna either gonna accept you or they're gonna reject you. And that's an expensive lesson. Or you can go to something like Toastmasters or, or wherever, BNI or whatever networking group where you have to get up and speak in front of people. And when you do that, you polish your skills at a place where the dollar bills can't mystically disappear. That's where I'm going tonight. I'm going to go do, I entered a contest. I'm going to do an evaluation. So what it means is somebody's going to be speaking and I have to tell them how they did in front of a group of people. And it's not much difference than the evaluations that you give people within your company. So if you have uh, you know, employees that need to polish their skills up, maybe they're good at this or bad at that, you gotta be able to say that the right way because man, I tell you, it's easy to, it's easy to turn people away, it's easy to have your message skewed and lost in, I don't know, get the, you get the wrong message and you know what I mean. So I'm going to take you along with towards this evaluation tonight, show you what I got to do. Maybe it'll be interesting. Maybe it'll be a waste of your time. We won't know till we give it a go. Okay, so here we are at the speech contest and we have to get up in front of this room full of people here. and. Uh, a friend of mine, Jen Sweetser's with. Say hi, Jen. Hi. She's going to be actually competing. Now. Jen is as introverted as they come. Yes. Jen, are you comfortable about doing this tonight? I'm fine. Thanks. Really? Because I'm not. What I, what I really want to point out is in front of all these people, none of them which I've met before, I've got to go up in the front and evaluate another person that I've never met before. And then all these people get to judge how we do. And Jen, you also get to speak in front of this whole group of people, and they get to all <laughs> stare at you and evaluate how you're doing. And you're doing this because you want to push yourself outside your comfort zone, aren't you? Yep. Because if you stay in your comfort zone, you don't grow, do you? No. Exactly. So, a lot of times the things we do, they're not really fun, but you got to do them if you ever want to improve and become better. So, say hi to all these strangers. Should be fun. We'll see what happens. Bye, Jen. Bye. They're not all strangers. Oh, there's Paul, <laughs> my buddy Paul Jackson. All right. All right. The room 
who's starting to fill up. Fun. Should be fun. Not. Okay. Well, last night I competed in the, um, I don't know, division area. I don't know what it is. Speech contest, evaluation portion of it. You saw the footage. Ended up being about 65 people there last night. Um, fun, exciting event. Not the point. I took second place. Not the point. The point was I pushed myself outside of my comfort zone. If you really think I want to get up in front of 65 people I've never met before and evaluate another person that I've never met before and then have all of those people critique my evaluation, how well I did judging how another person did, a little uncomfortable. Do you get my point? Do you get my point where you have to continually push yourself outside of your comfort zone? That is when you grow. That's when you gain the ability to go to a town home meeting and meet with a board of directors and have three, four, five, six, seven eyes staring at you and be comfortable and relaxed and be able to present the information in a way that creates the environment that they want to hire you. If I didn't keep doing stuff like standing up and trying to win awards and do contests, when it came to the point where the dollar bills were on the line, I wouldn't be able to drive those home runs. I wouldn't be able to succeed. So I practice where it doesn't count. Now I'm not saying that stuff isn't important. Please don't get me wrong. I think it is important. It's huge. But my livelihood isn't on the line. That's why you need to go outside of your comfort zone. You need to step out and find ways to do it. Now, taking second place to me is disappointing. Not because I am so competitive. I just got to win, win, win. Everybody says that, oh, I was raised competitively. It has nothing to do with that. What it means to me is I'm now unable to go stand up in front of an even bigger crowd. The next stage, if I had won, would have been standing in front of a couple hundred people. And that's where I wanted to be at next. I wanted to really get up on a stage and have this, feel the sweat coming out of my pores and be totally in a, way, in a place where I feel like I better put a diaper on because I'm about to piss my pants. Scared. Because then anything I do from there is that much easier. That is how much you have to push yourself. That's how much you have to strive to get better, to achieve to find wherever it is, whatever you do that makes you feel like you don't want to be there and go there. It's as simple as that. That's when you grow as a person. You know that now. I know that. I'm just showing you examples of how I push myself. Hopefully it gives you ideas because this isn't about me. None of these videos are about me. This is all about you. I want you to grow. I want you to become the absolute best you possibly can. And I want to show you how to do it. And I don't know. It's more than just telling you. It's more than sitting down and going, just do this, 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 and this. No, I want to take you on the journey. I want to show you what I do so you know that when I'm not just talking the talk, I'm walking the walk. It's not just bullshit where I say you should do this. I'm showing you. I actually do it. I don't want to. I don't want to get out in front of these crowds and do all this crap. But you have to. You have to. That's when you become the absolute best you possibly can. That's all I want from you. When this life is done and you leave your legacy behind, I want it to be something that other people are going to strive to achieve. You don't have to be the smartest. You don't have to be the best looking. You don't have to have a college degree. You don't have to have a high school diploma. You don't have to know how to read or write to still become great. I know that, and I know you can do it. You're on the right track. Good Lord willing, all your blessings will come true. I love you guys. Take care.